Well, well. Bobby, it's good to see you up and around. It feels good. How are you feeling? Well, I'm fine, except that I have to wear these glasses for a few days. <laughs> She's very self-conscious about that. That's silly. Hmm. Makes you look like a movie star. Hmm. Well, now you're the second person today who said that. And I'll be the third. Uh, may I have your autograph? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't give autographs or interviews. I want to be alone. <laughs> oh, Bobby, that's very good. Oh, really. <laughs> Tell me, have they moved Hutch yet? No, no, they haven't. I thought they were supposed to do that today. Well, there's a security problem holding them up. Why? What's the problem? Uh, a disagreement between the federal authorities and the prison officials as to how to transport Hutch back to the prison. Red tape and more red tape. That's really awful, isn't it? It certainly is. I'm, I'm, I'm just glad they moved Hutch and the guards up to ten. It's kind of silly to have to search everybody who came to the hospital. It was ridiculous. Mm. Well, it just couldn't go on that way. No, amen. <laughs> well, we're leaving for the day, Jesse. All right, I'll sign you out. Good. Good. Thanks. Night. Good night. Well, 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 well. Who is this mysterious person? Guess. Hmm. I know who you are. You're that, you're that famous actress, um, oh, Thing, what's her name, Thing, um, that's why you got the dark glasses on, you're starring in Dark Victory at the Port Charles Playhouse, right? Right. You want my autograph? Sure, sign my leg. <laughs> well, you've been taken for a movie star three times a day and a famous stage actress once. I don't think I'm ever going to take these things off. <laughs> oh, sure you are. You ready to go? I'm ready to do what? Yeah. So we go. See you later, Jesse. Bye-bye. Bye, Jesse. -bye. I'm her seeing eye dog. <laughs> Nice to meet the boss's wife. No. Heard a lot about you. Really? Let me, uh, let me find you, too. Thank you. Well, I was a lawyer, actually. At the International Bureau of Investigation for a while. Not. Ah, your background sounds very interesting. Well, I've been around. If you were with the Bureau, maybe you could help find my brother. Brother? I didn't know he was missing. Yeah, he's disappeared, and we've been dead. We're trying to find him. Do you think you could help? Well, I don't know how I do with missing persons. Tracing somebody. Finding them, that uh, requires a unique training and skill. I doubt that I'm up to that. I heard that you were in the movie business. Well, I was, but that fell through. What happened? Well, it's a long story, but, uh, well, suffice it to say the uh, financing fell through because a guy at the studio was caught writing phony checks. Movie business is very iffy at best. I like, uh, I like running this disco just fine. You do a fantastic job, I tell you. Well, thanks, Noah. Mr. Corrigan. Yeah, Stacy. Did anyone ever tell you you look like Robert Redford? Stacy. No, and I don't think anyone ever will. Well, I'm telling you. Stacy, why don't you borrow Bobby's glasses? Uh, maybe it'll improve your vision. No, you're the one that needs the glasses. You're the one that looks like the movie star. Oh, Stacy. Would you like to borrow my sunglasses? I'll pass. Well, I'll pass. Thank you. Well, you're the one that needs the glasses. You're the one that looks like the movie star. Oh, Stacy. Would you like to borrow my sunglasses? I'll pass. Well, movie stars are out of my league anyway. But Noah's not. Bobby, you wouldn't mind if he can. I don't mind if Noah doesn't mind. Backhanded compliment of Iron Curtain. That's okay with me. Have fun. Dr. Renner said I have to take it easy for a few days. No dancing for me. Well, Bobby, uh, when my plans to uh, change this disco into something new and different come to fruition, you're not going to have to worry about overdoing it. What are you changing the disco into? Well, it's going to reflect the very newest thing, the latest craze. Really? What, what do you mean? Well, come on. I mean, don't be coy about it. Well, let's just say that it's so new now. I refuse to talk about it. 